So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the uh, 7805 linear voltage regulator. So this is the L7805, and it's the 78 series integrated circuits. And the 05, that stands for the output voltage of 5 volts. There's also the 7812 and a bunch of other uh, voltages. But uh, the last two numbers is the output voltage. So this one is in a heat sink, just like this transistor here that I've been using in recent videos. In fact, this transistor is part of the circuit that made me think I'm going to need one of these in a, a future video. Or at least one of these will help a lot. So I have one here without a heat sink. The power is on right now and to my from my bench power supply. So it's coming from these uh, alligator clips here. And so we got the uh, positive one coming to this. And I took a jumper and crimped an alligator clip to it. And so that's kind of one of the problems. Each one of these connections is adding a little bit of resistance. And I've been losing voltage to the uh, load that I wanted to power lately. So if you've seen my recent videos, you've seen that. So it made me think to grab one of these. So we have our input there and uh, this is the back that's the front there so we have our input the ground and the output so ground is uh, just connected to the negative side of the rail there and input right now we have 7.5 volts that's what I set my bench power supply to and we come over here and we have 5 volts pretty much spot on 5 volts that's what this integrated circuit does I'm going to uh, up the uh, voltage and again we don't have a heat sink because there's no load so we should be fine heat wise so we have uh, 10 volts from the uh, power supply and uh, we're outputting 5 volts it's holding pretty much exactly spot on even though we changed the input so unfortunately the way that this holds that voltage there is we have 10 volts coming in 5 volts going out. That makes the math easy. So if we had one amp of current going out we would want the uh, heat sink one in uh, that case. But if we had one amp going out that's one amp at 5 volts which is 5 watts of power. So with 10 volts coming in unfortunately we have one amp of current also coming in in order to get that one amp of current out and so that is 10 watts of power so we have 10 watts coming in 5 watts going out what's going on with that other 5 watts is that it's creating heat that's why we need the heat sink it creates a lot of heat so if you cut the uh, 10 volt down to 5 volts you lose half the power in heat so you want to keep the voltage uh, as low as you can as long as it can still output a steady 5 volts for uh, this integrated circuit. So, in any case, I need a steady voltage near the uh, load for an upcoming video. So, hopefully this component will do a great job at that and I think it will. We will just raise the voltage enough so everything before it uh, doesn't lose, it doesn't drop more voltage than uh, we can spare to lose and uh, by the time we get to this integrated circuit if it's right by the load it will hold a steady 5 volts no matter what at that point so hope to see you in those future videos always make sure to turn your meter off when you're done thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video